There are many students that get injured every year, not just from sports, but from freak accidents. My injury was a concussion. I got my injury because this kid ran into me really hard, and so I fell backwards into a brick wall and hit my head. Audrey Bullen had a concussion and was out for three weeks, not being able to do what she loved. I couldn't go to dance or theater or my voice lessons. Concussions are one of the most common injuries in children. Most get them from falls or hits in sports, like soccer, football, and cheer. But it's not just the physical part of injuries that can affect kids. It affected me emotionally and physically because I couldn't go out and see my friends. It was really hard because those are the things I love to do. Eighth grader Ava Haas broke her foot last year from overuse being in both cross country and basketball. She was out for eight weeks. My injury was I broke my foot. Um, I got injured because I was doing cross country and basketball and so I overused my foot and it broke. I was really sad because I didn't, I broke it right before the basketball tryouts so I didn't get to try out until later after everybody else so I was a little bit worried that that would hurt my chances. One thing we learn is icing and properly taking care of your injury is the fastest way to recover. However, to furthermore prevent future injuries, we need to stretch before a workout, sport, or practice so we can adjust our muscles to prevent tearing or broken bones for the future. Volleyball player Maddie Weir was out for three months. I was injured by falling off the monkey bars. Between concussions, internal injuries, and broken bones, many students find ways to overcome their injuries and the pain that they cause. Kira Shargalamudi is a swimmer that suffered tendonitis. I just iced a lot and I did physical therapy for about four months and over time I just overcame it and learned how to do the stroke properly.